Some of America's oldest memories of taxes ended with a Tea Party and a revolution. So you can imagine that in the years following, taxation could be a touchy subject. After implementing the Constitution, the new government of the United States relied on tariffs for its revenue, taxes on items being brought into the country. Now, tariffs remain a divisive topic even today, but the world's economic landscape was different back then. The point is, Americans received every penny of their paychecks, and throughout the 1800s, tariffs provided enough money to fund the responsibilities of the American government. That is, until civil war broke out. War isn't cheap, so in 1861, Abraham Lincoln led Congress to pass the first ever income tax in the United States, taxing 3% of the income of the wealthiest 3% of Americans. Turns out the plan didn't work so well, so it was revised in 1862. And again in 1864, 